So happy 2K day. You already know what time it is. I do this once a year. It's now time for my NBA 2K18 Ultimate Dribbling Tutorial. And you guys already know the deal. I'm going off the top, so if I make a mistake, help me out in the comment section. Now, ever since the Run the Neighborhood event, it was apparent that 2K took a lot of steps to minimizing the success frequency of some of the dribble exploits in NBA 2K17. But I know this community, true dribble gods, will figure it out regardless. Now, as always, we're going to start with some of the basics and lead into some of the advanced moves towards the end. Up first is the triple threat jab step. Before you take a dribble, tap the right stick left or right. To do the triple threat pump fake, tap the right stick towards the defender. And to do the triple threat pump fake jab step, tap the right stick away from the defender. Now we can also do a triple threat step back by holding the right trigger or R2 and tapping the right stick away from the defender. And now we're gonna take a look at the triple threat spin out even though this has been in 2K for some years, it seems like it gets better every year. And in NBA 2K18, this might be a detrimental move. You want to rotate the right stick in a half circle while in a triple threat. Now take a look at Carmelo Anthony as he cooks Gordon Hayward. Remember how to do this move because this will come in handy when playing against real life opponents that like to pressure the ball too close. Stay down, Gordon. Now, new this year in NBA 2K18, you can perform signature moves using the left trigger or the L2 button on the PlayStation 4. Right here, I'm just simply tapping LT. And if you double tap it, you'll actually pull off your rhythm dribble. Now, one of the big changes they made to doing rhythm dribbles this year is they reduced the ability to speed boost out of them. But that doesn't mean that you can't beat your defender with that first step. In order to perform a signature rhythm dribble, all you have to do is tap the right stick towards the defender. So if you're playing in 2K low, you tap the right stick up. Now we're going to take a quick look at some of the hesitations. These are the moves that let you explode free to blow past your defender. Right here we're doing a light hesitation, all I'm doing is tapping the right stick to the right or you can tap it to the left towards your ball hand. Now this is the in and out crossover, just hold the right trigger or R2 on the PS4, tap the right stick towards the defender. Take a look at how fast Mike Conley moves as he explodes out of this dribble. Then he proceeds to knock down the jumper. Now we're taking a look at the crossover escape. To do this, you want to hold the right trigger or R2, tap the right stick towards the non-ball hand. This is the hesitation escape. This is going to give you a lot of space and a lot of burst of speed if you do the crossover with it. Hold RT or R2, tap the right stick towards the ball hand. Right here, we're taking a look at the step back dribble. All you have to do is hold RT or R2 and tap the right stick away from the defender. Now we're going to take a quick look at the Jamal Crawford crossover behind the back move. And I put this in last year's tutorial because let's face it, in NBA 2K17, you could just look at someone in the wrong way and probably break their ankles. <laughs> in order to do this move, you want to tap the right stick diagonal to the off ball hand, then tap the right stick down or away from your defender. Exclusive out of the shakedown bag. <laughs> I've got my half spin step back. This move is seldomly used. You want to rotate the right stick in a quarter circle towards your defender. Then hold the right trigger or R2. Tap the right stick down or away from your defender. And look at this animation. Doesn't even watch the shot go in the rim. <laughs> Take a look at the way Kyrie Irving does it. Ankle breakers are rare, but I'm not doubting my move. Now let's look at a signature move from Steph Curry. This is the double behind the back move. And these are combos that pretty much all good ball handlers have. All you have to do is double tap the right stick down or away from your defender. Then you can just explode to the rim. Now as always, I like to give you guys a few moves that you can use in transition or while running at your defender. This is the running in and out cross. 
while dribbling forward with space between you and your defender, hold the right trigger and tap the right stick towards your defender. Now we're going to analyze the spin move. You do this by rotating the right stick from the ball hand to the non-ball hand. And in NBA 2K18, if the defender is relatively close to you, he will interrupt your spin move animation. Your player will transition into a protect the ball animation, which does a good job of keeping him from causing a turnover. Now here's Mike Conley with the running double crossover. While you're dribbling forward, tap the right stick left to right or right to left. Do this nice quick double cross. Now we're taking a look at the running behind the back move. This is done pretty simply. All you have to do is tap the right stick down or away from your defender twice. Now this is an oldie but a goodie. We got Eric Bledsoe doing the running crossover behind the back move. Simply tap the right stick to your non-ball hand and immediately tap the right stick away from your defender. Now I know everyone likes to do that extremely dramatic step back dribble move from the previous 2Ks. It used to be normal one last year. But after doing some research, it doesn't look like that huge leap back is even in 2K18. Now for these next set of advanced moves, you're going to need at least an 86 to a 90 ball control in order to break ankles more consistently. Now we know this is the momentum dribble. Immediately after you initiate the crossover, you want to hold sprint. This is right before the crossover animation begins. This one might take a little bit of practice if you're new to the series. Now I will admit, during the prelude, I was a little surprised to see that Kevin Durant could do the momentum dribble. This is a good sign for some of you bigs out there, but obviously his is nowhere near as fast as someone who has a higher ball control and probably a little shorter. Now we're taking a look at the momentum step back. Just like before you do the crossover, then immediately hold sprint. While you're still holding sprint, tap the right stick away from the defender. This is another one that is a little bit more advanced if you're new to the series. But with some basic practice, you'll be doing this in no time. This now is the momentum behind the back move. And it doesn't seem as drastic or out of control as it was in 2K17. You initiate the crossover, immediate sprint, and then tap down on the right stick or away from your defender. And we're not going to finish a dribble tutorial without breaking out my man John Wall for the momentum spin move. Simply initiate the cross, immediate sprint, and then rotate the right stick in a half circle from your ball hand to your non-ball hand. Now I know these momentum dribbles are advanced, but they do lead to some of the most deadly combos in the game. Now let's take a quick look at the hop jumper. A lot of us believed that they removed the hop jumper from 2K17, but I'm here to let you know that it does make its return in 2K18. All you have to do is tap the square button or the X button on Xbox away from the defender. You can no longer just do it from side to side unless they change things later on in the year. But take a look at this. This is what happens if you do it too close to your defender. You actually lose the dribble. 2K17, you could do that all day and never lose the dribble. But take a look at this, how I'm doing it with Isaiah Thomas. I'm going to initiate the rhythm dribble and then I'm just going to step back out of it. Look at the amount of space that you get when you do that too. Now this concludes today's basic dribble tutorial. If things change throughout the year, as always, help me out in the comment section. As we get more time with the game, I'm sure we'll come up with even more dribble moves and combos, and I'll be sure to have them right here on this channel. So if you found this video helpful, smack that like button, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and I promise to be back with some more tutorials for you guys later.